from the spot of the impact from Riley's toe, that was a 67-yard kick. He won't get that much credit, but it's into the end zone for the touchback, and it's a first and 10 for the Minnesota 20 in their possession. Sadik, trailing by 14 points, passes, and it's complete to Heron for a gain of nine yards, but the Gophers are penalized for offsides. So it's first and 15 on the Gopher 15, and Magnuson over right guard for a gain of four yards. Then with a second and 11 on the Minnesota 19, watch this pass interception for the touchdown by Bobby Sherman. There is Sadik's pass, and here is Bob Sherman intercepting at the 30, the 25, the 20, 15, 10, and into the end zone for the touchdown. That was Bob Sherman intercepting the pass and running for the touchdown. So it's Iowa 27, Minnesota 7, as Jay Roberts' kick is no good. Let's watch Jay in action again as Krause holds. And hard luck, Jay misses again. And that makes it Iowa 27, Minnesota 7, with 12.39 left to play in the ball game. So Roberts will kick off for the Hawkeyes, resuming action here. And Roberts kicks off to Pelletier, who again gets off a sensational kickoff return in the end zone by three yards. This is the 10, the 20, the 30, and he's out to about the 32-yard line when he's knocked down on the field of play. So the first and 10 on the go for 32. Magnuson over right tackle for five yards. Then it's second and five on the Minnesota 37-yard line. And Magnuson this time goes over left tackle, and his gain is six, er, a single yard. The third and four on the Minnesota 38-yard line. Peterson tries to hit Ronley, but the pass is incomplete. All alone downfield. And then with a fourth and four in the Minnesota 38, Ski punts to Sherman, and Bobby Sherman signals for the fair catch. And now it's a first and 10 from the Iowa 33. And watch Gary Snook on this play, getting the ball from his quarterback position to his right, to the 40, up at midfield and passed, and a nice 22-yard pickup for Gary Snook, Iowa's quarterback. So it's first and 10 down to the Gopher 45-yard line. Gary Snook, still in a quarterback, intends to hit Bill Needbala to his left, and it is incomplete and over the head of the intended receiver. Second and 10 out to the Minnesota 45-yard line. This time, Snook spots Webb in a corks a long one, and it's incomplete. So it's third and 10, Minnesota 45-yard line. And once again, the Snook to Webb combination is incomplete. Fourth down and 10 to go out to the Minnesota 45-yard line, and Riley punts out of bounds on the Gopher 11-yard line. Mike continues his excellent punting for the Hawkeyes. So the Gophers take over from that spot, trailing 27 to 7, first and 10 from the 11 yard line. Peterson gets the call this time, slips over right guard for about a five yard pickup. Quarterback sneaking many times this afternoon. Second and five on the Minnesota 16 yard line, and Pelletier breaks loose for a 16 yard gain. Finally tackled by Ryan on the far side of the field, and it's a first and 10 out to the Minnesota 32-yard line. Heron of Minnesota over left tackle spins for about two yards on the play. Second and eight on the Minnesota 34-yard line. And once again, Pelletier moves into action. Let's watch him. It's the pitch back. He's at the 40, the midfield stripe. In Iowa territory at the 40, the 35, and he's smacked down at that spot, and a gain of 32 yards, and the Hawks were penalized for a personal foul on the play. Makes it first and 10 on the Iowa 18-yard line. Magnuson over right tackle for a gain of three yards on the play. Then second and seven on the Iowa 15-yard line. Peterson picks up two over left guard. Leo Miller in on the tackle. Then it's third and five on the Iowa 13-yard line. 
Peterson goes to the airlines. Spots Ronley of Minnesota. And it is incomplete. So with the fourth and five in the Iowa 13, Peterson once again goes to the air. He spots Harris, throws it, and it is incomplete. So the Hawkeyes take over on the 13-yard line, first and 10. This is Fred Riddle in the quarterback now, hands it over to Sherman, and Sherman picks up a single yard in the play. So it's second and about eight and a half. This is Fred Riddle to his left. Mike Riley helps him out on a block, but Fred is snowed in for a loss of about seven yards in the play, and it'll be third and 15 on the Iowa 7. Riddle hands to Greer, and Greer smacks into the left guard position for a gain of two, making it four and 13 on the Iowa nine yard line. And Riley boots to Heron. Heron returns at nine yards, but on this play, the Hawks are penalized for a personal foul. So it's a 15 yard penalty as the Hawks protested that uh, alleged clipping penalty. And it'll be first and 10 on the 30. This is Sadik passing to Pelletier, but it's incomplete. Then with the second and 10 on the Iowa 30, Sadik again goes to the air lane. Intends to hit Pelletier, and it's almost intercepted by Bob Sherman. Then it's third, 10 to go on the Iowa 30. Once again, Sadik tries to hit Pelletier, but it is again incomplete. So it's fourth and 10. And this time, Sadik tries to hit Heron of Minnesota and Heron does not field it. It's an incompleted forward pass. There's a long one. And incomplete in the end zone. So the Hawks have it first and 10 on the 30. And Riddle is back in the pocket. And spots Webb, and it's complete for nine yards in the play. So it's second and one on the Iowa 39. And Sherman picks up the first down for the Hawkeyes. First and 10, out to the Iowa 41-yard line. Riddle back in the pocket. Throws to Kraus, and it's incomplete. Second and 10 on the Iowa 41-yard line. Riddle again in the pocket. His receiver, Webb. It is incomplete. Knocked down before it got over the line of scrimmage. Then with a third and 10 on the Iowa 41, Riddle jump passes to Webb, incomplete. So we have a fourth and 10 on the Iowa 41 yard line. And Mike Riley punts to Pelletier. And Pelletier returns at 28 yards. Pelletier, the shining light in the gopher attack this afternoon. That's Jerry Pelletier returning at 28 yards and it's first and 10 on the Minnesota 48 yard line. And Sadik passes to Heron and it's complete for a gain of six. And then with a second and four on the Iowa 46 yard line, Sadik hits Rahala, and this time it's a 14 yard pickup. On the far side of the field. So with a first and 10 on the Iowa 32, Sadik hits Rahala, and this time it's a 17 yard pass play. 17 yard pickup for the Gophers. And with the first and 10 on the Iowa 15, Sadik again passes to Rehala, and this is a five yard pickup. So with a second and five in the Iowa 10, here is a touchdown play for the Gophers. Sadik passes, and all alone in the end zone is Kramer. Here is the touchdown pass play coming up. There he is, Kramer, receiving that for the TD, and moves it up to 27 to 13. And now Sadik intends to hit Heron in the end zone for a two-point conversion, and it's incomplete. So the score is Iowa 27, Minnesota 13, with just a little short of two minutes to play in the ball game, 153 to be exact, and Ramey will kick off to Iowa, and Noonan receives it and returns it for 20-some yards. This is Carl Noonan, number 19, at the 10. He's up at the 20, cuts to his right, and makes it out to the 31-yard line where it's first and 10 from that spot for the Hawkeyes, leading 27 to 13.
Terry Ferry this time. On his first offensive play, I believe, of the season, gained three yards in the play. Ferry is from Boone, Iowa. Second and seven on the Iowa 34-yard line. Gary Simpson from Newton crashes over right tackle for three. So it's third and four on the Iowa 31. Simpson again gets the call. This time his pickup is three yards. And it's fourth and one on the Iowa 40. And the Hawkeyes into punt formation. Mickey Moses, number 22, punts. And it's to Maples. And he signals for a fair catch. So it's first and 10 from the Minnesota 20 in possession of the Gophers trailing 27 to 13. Sadik is the quarterback. Nobody's open. He gets out of the trap and moves to his right to the 15, the 20, to the 30 yard line where he snowed in, but the Gophers were penalized five yards for offsides. So it's first and 15 on the Gopher 15 yard line and Magnuson picks up three yards in the final play of the game. The final score, the Hawkeyes 27, Minnesota 13. Jerry gets a well-deserved ride, and next week at Ann Arbor, Michigan, the Hawkeyes will play Michigan. <laughs>